Hello, this is my second lecture in uh, computer science. The topic this time is going to be uh, symbols and the use of them. Uh, now, what are symbols? Symbols are signs that have some kind of meaning to you. Uh, so, let's say that I show you uh, a picture of a heart. Does that does anything come to mind when you see a picture of a heart? Do you do you think of something like Valentine's Day or um, someone that you love? That is a sign. That's a symbol. <clears throat> Let's say I show you a picture of a dog. Now I'm not going to draw a picture of a dog. You know that Daddy can't draw a straight line with a ruler. But um, let's let's assume that I can draw a dog that you could recognize as a dog, and I show it to you. And when you see the picture, what could come to your mind? Well, you might think about your, na uh, your neighbor's cute puppy. Or you might think about your friend's dog who slobbered all over you. Or you might think about this dog that bit you once. And that's going to depend upon the experiences that you've had with dogs as um, well as what kind of dog that I drew. So, um, uh, that the, uh, the meaning is sort of going to depend on the experience that you have. So let's say that um, I, I draw this to you. And uh, that says 4 slash 28. And, what, and I ask you, what does that mean? Okay, what does that me really mean? Um, <clears throat> and uh, it, it could mean a lot of things. Right? It, could, it could mean a lot of things. Um, uh, if you saw it written in the upper, hand, upper uh, right hand corner of a sheet of paper, you might think that it means a date, because four, is, uh, four means April, the fourth month, and 28 would be the 28th day of April. Uh, on the other hand, if you saw it as a, a just one in a, in a list of these numbers, and uh, none of the other numbers look like they represented months, then you might believe that this was uh, maybe a list of math problems that needed to be solved. Say, uh, uh, fractions that needed to be reduced if possible. So the context determines the meaning. Let me give you one more example. Let's say, um, now some people, instead of writing... <coughs> um, 4 slash 28, they might write 4 dash 28. Okay? So that you have the same problem there. Does that mean 4 minus 28, or does it mean uh, April 28th again? Or, you might see it this way, 4 28 7. Is that today's date, or is that the combination to my locker? Right? What, what does it mean? Well, the meaning it depends on the context. So that is the central point of this uh, lecture, that the, the meaning of a symbol depends upon the context. And the context, uh, what, what is the context? The, the, the context are the things and the circumstances that, uh, in which that symbol appears. And that, that includes your past experiences. <coughs> so if you have uh, a lot of good experiences with a dog, then you might think, wow, that's a neat picture, assuming that I could can draw much better than what I actually can. Um, uh, or it could be part of a com common understanding, the, the things that just everybody knows, uh, that, you know, what, they might, what we might call common knowledge. Uh, if uh, 428 appears in the upper right-hand corner of a piece of paper, then we know that that probably means a date. Uh, if we see three numbers written together on a little scrap of paper tucked away someplace, well, that could be a, uh, a combination to a safe or something. Um, so this is, this is going to be a recurring theme in uh, computer science. It's gonna, uh, uh, we're going to use it very shortly, as a matter of fact. The fact that uh, symbols mean different things in different contexts. Um, so thank you for paying attention.